Hello. I was gonna go ahead and try something new. I am stealing just a little bit of time. I just recently got a, uh, adopted a new dog. Um, he's napping on the floor, so I've got at least a little bit of time before uh, he's probably gonna want to play again. So, we're gonna go ahead and try Witchwood. Uh, this looked very interesting. It seems to be based on, um, some of the more, uh, like, gothic, uh, I think Slavic, uh, myths and fairy tales. So, uh, I've already adjusted various settings and, oh boy, this is, uh, this is an interesting settings menu. Um, I don't want to, like, click anything in order to, uh, change it because then I've got to click all the way through. Um, actually, I'm just going to show you just audio. So, I've got these things at about 40%, which is okay. Here's the thing. And I'm going to have to loop all the way around. Every time you click this, it goes up. There is no clicking it down. There is no adjusting exactly. So, uh, it goes 100% and then down to 0% and then you are clicking every time to get it back up. Um, not the best, uh, controls for a menu that I've ever seen. Uh, just if you're gonna give this a try, be prepared for that. Um, adjusting audio is interesting. You can only go up 10% at a time. And once you hit 100, you loop back down to zero. So, um, I've, I've changed some of the keyboard controls, um... I've no doubt that I would have, like, figured it out in the game, in the tutorial or something, but some of them were not intuitive for, like, m like an English speaker. Um, like, map was on K and nothing was on M. I, I think inventory was J and journal was L. Um, I just switched, I just switched a few things around for my own sake. Hopefully that'll help out. Uh, let's go ahead and... Try a new game, see how this goes. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. I have to carry on, okay. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. <laughs> Who's there? I guess get up is her only option. The goat is making noise. Alright, interesting. Click or use F to interact. I thought E was interact. Maybe I, uh... You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep. Oh good, space also moves things along. F might not be necessary. Shoo shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. We got little chicken feet. Alright, can't move around yet. When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first. My old grimoire must be around here somewhere. First things first. Alright. We need to find our, uh, grimoire. Now, I would suspect it's a book. Or, like, on a bookshelf. However, if the place is indeed cluttered, then who knows where it could be. Um... None of this seems... Ah, there we go. Sparkled. It's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all your crafting recipes. Open at any time by pressing H. Thing is, I changed that to C. So, interestingly enough, uh, if you change the keybinds, it seems the tutorial just stays on what it originally was. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, mending poultice. I seem to have forgotten or lost a lot of things. Heals aches and pains, heals depleted hearts. We need two of the forest herbs and one hag shroom. Swamp and forest. I appreciate that you can click on these and it shows you where to find them. Uh, inventory, map. Oh, look, there we are. And uh, zooming out and in works on the scroll wheel, at least to some extent. It might just be slower, I don't know. Journal. Uh, find braided belt in the chest. I guess we're getting that before we've uh, gotten the dialogue. All my recipes are missing. The damnable creatures chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I need to carry things if I'm to, con to go confront the beast. Must have been a hell of a nap. There we go. Keeps things handy. Uh, looks like we've got impie nut, reedy twine... Got the feeling these are going to be important. Um, I'm putting everything in my backpack. My poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. 
It's just have my recipe for my mending poultice. All right, so we need ingredients for a mending poultice. Okay, so we've already got a few here. Uh, Spacebar, by the way, seems to be working for Interact, even though I never set that as such. Um, basically, it seems like... Okay, do I need to be on the other side of this? Yes, I do. It seems like the controls are a little interesting. Okay, so... Crafting time... Craft... Why? Oh, you have to hold it. I thought it was failing for some reason. Okay, just have to hold it. Uh, use it to heal, so I can just yep, click on that. Okay. And now I get to go outside. Look at her move. Now, I think I have to, yeah, I have to interact button. It, you can't just run at it and go. You step outside into a human marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink, and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put these gnashes to good use on this lawn. Yep, okay. Tab opens the map as well. Okay. Frankly, I have a... Okay, good. Click and drag works. A l Regardless of the keybinds showed in the menu, uh, a lot of things seem to work. There he is. Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! Oh, the goat coughs, coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ah yes, hello, hello, can you hear me now? Apologies, it's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck, there's dirt in its mouth. Puh, puh. You can talk? Of course I can talk, as you might become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend. You wound me, madame. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken, though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. Goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it'll come back to you. All right. So, I think I left inspect on G, so I, I want to- there we go. Can I, uh- oh, good, I can just single click on it. Good, 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 good. Can I just single click on this? No. Alright, G. Nice, okay. An unusually large standing stone wrapped with enchanted engravings, unveiling powder. The goat, I'll help you out, trust me. Okay, I think I can hit G again, and there we go. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. All right, shallow runes too faint to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences occurred as a result of abyssal possession. All right, by inspecting objects to creatures, you learn new recipes. Okay. So I need to discover... Unveiling powder. Okay, I've got one of those uh, thorny viney things. Um, there's bound to be another. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I knew I saw some down here. Ah, chest. Cannot open chest. I think I can. I can move by clicking. Interesting. Shears. Okay, I don't have shears. Anyhow, um, I better go ahead and craft that powder. So I just need to stand near the shrine door and use it. I wonder if it's technically possible to soft lock yourself by uh, using it not close enough, or if that that's uh, impossible. You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. Cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and it envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. Must have been lit written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Alright, now I need to go find the shears. Yep. Alright. 
Time to go find the shears. Now I can open the garden chest. Okay. It's keeping me very linear. Number one, I, um... Good, okay, I can just... There we go. I have to, uh, right-click in order to get through that. Hey, snip, snip! Did that work? Okay, that worked. Which, with much protesting and a nick dear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always this grotesque, or is my memory failing me as well? Watch your tongue, or I'll give you a good snip too. I'll give it a good snip too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Hmm, yes, ahem. A space beneath, she sleeps alone, tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone, braziers burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's calling a crone? Who's it calling a crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at the braziers. Yep, okay. Uh, let's do the inspection. We need a blue feather, dog hair, frog slime, and shiny stone. Okay. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep? I don't think so, but feel through the sift through the Feel free to sift through these creatures' leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame. Far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods could do these creaky joints some good. Too much time indoors is bad for the humors. I've got the feeling she slept like a bloody ancient dragon. That is to say, four centuries. Tangled vines. Okay... Into the darkness. Interesting. I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to go. I heard something about a green fire. Maybe that is the way I'm supposed to go. I don't see anything with green fire. Okay, okay. Hag shroom. I'm just gonna pick up absolutely every ingredient I can possibly uh, notice in here. Okay, it might be this. Uh, because I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna need as much as I can. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step into a st cold stone dice. Time f seems to flow backwards, or maybe it speeds forwards. An oppressive star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there's no wind or sound in this void, a warm fall breeze and chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Okay, here we go. Hearth seed. Interesting. Added to inventory and it's a recipe. Okay, so I can go back home using this, but I need uh, flower petals. Okay, interesting, interesting. To the forest, back home. Hmm, there's quite a few little hub world voids. Ooh, I'm already drawn to this, there's books. Anyhow, um... I like the concept of being a witch in a- you've got your little portal dimension home, but you've also got this hub going different places. Ooh, I could use that. That's healing herbs. Alright. Evidently I'm not just gonna be, uh, picking a bird up. Twig. Okay. Let's see. Ah, bird watcher. The one spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with some of my scientific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tufted forest lark. They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one, perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I haven't. Sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. All right, she points at a nearby woodland critter stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few minutes watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. Okay, um, hatchet, okay. Need more tools in order to really make use of certain things. Grab some more ingredients. Ah, there's a guy up there. Hold on. I thought I saw sparkles. Always run for the sparkles. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting a... Uh... I'd say I'm getting off track, but there is no track. 
Who are you? Kilman. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so it'll be a while still. I was just admiring that fine canine over there. Scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if I you value your finger. She's a touch bitey today and doesn't like much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals, sure they can find something to calm her down. Okay, so G. Shears and soap soporific morsel. Okay. Ash pile, but it looks like I need a trowel. Interesting. Recipe learned. Can I make a sleepy thing? I need a... I need to craft a thing in order to make the thing. Jar of water. Oh dear. Forest, forest well, forest, village square. Okay. So I'm gonna need a bunch of that. And then I'm gonna need a meat. All right. I'm gonna be running around for a while. I really like the art style in this. Ooh, I want to observe the squirrel. I was told to observe the squirrel. Snap track. Oh, I missed a forest herb. Cool. Okay, so that is very much simplifying, um, clarifying rather, that I do need to make the trap in order to make that work. Okay, now I think the way to go is down this path. Ah, well, nice. A well wisher, ah oh, man, ah oh, geez, I don't know about this. Tap the man's shoulder and nearly tumbled head first into the well. Ah, what's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Or perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasures down there were just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope sounded so awful dark and damp. I got goosebumps just thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? Er, uh, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see those ghoulies yourself. Alright, take it. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. Reedy twine. Alright, strong homemade rope. Good. Uh, seems like it might support you without too much fuss. Let's go. I think I heard a person over- ooh. I don't think I can- Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Interesting. Um, I scrolled my mouse wheel. Too slippery, I need a net. I scrolled my mouse wheel to change my tool. It kind of scrolls the opposite way I would have expected. Like, this is scrolling it up. This is scrolling it down. Seems a little odd. Oh, well. Okay, how do I get water here? Um, do I need to get a... Do I need to make a pot? I might. Holding liquids. I need a campfire ember in order to get that. Snap trap. I need wicker work. Interesting wicker work I can make, but, uh... Oh, man, for right now... There's almost too much in a way. It's there is there is so much going on and a lot of it interlocks. Oh god, it just keeps going. Ooh. Locked. Of course it's locked. Shiny stones. Nice, nice. Okay. I need shiny stones. All right. It's not coming out. Can't get you, don't have a net. To the surface. I've got the feeling I'm gonna need a net in order to get the flog slime. 
Don't think I have a recipe for a net though. Okay, let's see. We're just moving along. Flower petals. Got little uh, fairies running around here. Nowhere else really to go? Okay. Too quick for hands alone. Catching net. Okay. Vanishes in a cloud of dust when caught. Okay. I suspect I'm going to need fairy dust for something at a point then. Ooh, more flower petals. Uh, I think I shall. I kind of wish they glowed a little bit even through the trees without me needing to get in the middle of it all. A little tricky to find them sometimes. I suppose I could inspect and then just sweep the mouse over the screen, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I haven't gone this way. Can't get through. Okay. Okay, so, I need meat from the village. Um. God. Okay. Don't know where the village is. Interesting. Woodsman. Give me a hand. With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me, but he's wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. Late in the season, wood started to rot. Careful of the purple mushrooms sometimes grow inside. They make you powerful, sleepy. Oh, I want those. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense, anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy won't be missing this hatchet. Alright, and I now have a hatchet. Okay. There we go. Boom. My mushrooms. My mushrooms now. You know what? I think I could get that ash, and I think it takes trowel. Ooh, campfire ember. Nice! Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We are absolutely getting somewhere. Okay, so here's the thing, here's the thing. I think... Yep. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. And I'm gonna go back down the well. I'm gonna see if I can get water with that. Oh, hey, the clay respawns. Can't collect there. Maybe it has to be where it drips? Yeah. There we go. There we go. We're getting... We're getting places. So, okay. Every time you come down into this area, the resources are respawned. Okay. So you can absolutely farm clay for a while if you want to. Um, I don't think I've got uh, ingredients. Yeah, I don't think I have... Uh, at least I haven't reached a limit on carrying anything. Da, 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 da. Okay. Can we collect from those wells? Good, good, good. Alright. So, how close am I? I can craft this. Hell yes. Okay. Which means that I am close to the morsel. I need a um, piece of meat. Just a piece of meat. Can I get it from a squirrel is the thing. Wicker work. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens if I can't catch that. Okay. Can I catch a squirrel? Can I catch a squirrel? I know I saw one hopping around here earlier. Ha 
Ha ha. Oh my god, it exploded. Oh my god. Yeah, that got me meat, all right. Um. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I now have the morsel. I might be able to get dog hair. Okay, we're uh... I hope he stays sleeping. I don't know if there's a time limit on this. I hope not. Oh, he got away! I don't have a net. Okay. Um, it's not stealing. Okay, okay. So I need frog slime and I need blue feather. I don't know how to get blue feathers. So far I haven't been able to interact with birds. However, uh, frogs are down there and I need a net for the frogs. Snip, snip. Lots of twine. I've got the feeling I'm gonna need it to build a net. Now, here's the thing. I think... Uh, into the decay, elusive amphibians, into the well, interesting. I haven't really been up there yet. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I've not been able to get through the gate, I think, if I'm seeing that correctly. Alright, quite frankly, I don't know where I am, even with the map. It's just weird enough. That I have no clue. Okay, I'm over here now. So that is my, uh... That's my way through back home. There we go. Moving along. Picking up every single ingredient that I can. I'll, I'll leave the nut, it's okay. Ooh, that's looked like something new. Who are you and what is going on here? Ragamuffin. Just with that great stinking pot on your head, I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Ah, you're just jealous. Boy fumbles between trying to wrangle those frogs and swiping infectedly away wayward fireflies with a shoddy looking bug net. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish flailing about like that? Why are you daft? Me frogs are hungry. I've got to catch some of these fireflies to feed them. Yep. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. How about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Maybe then I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. Well, okay. I don't have to make the net. I just have to take the net. Ooh, mushroom. Let me have it. Let me have it. Wah, fairy dust. Okay. Just caught a ton of fireflies. Hag shroom, yes, please. Okay. I suspect that's plenty. Well, those hoppers aren't going to stick around. Catch me. I, yep, I got the fireflies. Here you go, five of them. Oh, these are nice and juicy. The lads are going to feast tonight. Now, how about our, now about our deal? You agreed to trade me one of your pets there. What deal? I don't make him a deal. Frog screw squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops down by his feet with a wet slap. Dang it, there goes slippery feet. He takes a slum 
clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Ah, shucks, I never liked him anyways. If you can catch him, he's all yours. Mine. Okay, all I need now is the blue feather. I'm not entirely sure how to get a blue feather. Because the birds are not interactable. And I've not come across one just lying on the ground. <laughs> ha. So it's bright. Caught him. Cute. Uh, that being said, I still don't know how to get the birds. Snap trap. I need a snap trap. Okay. Okay. Just gotta clear out of that in order to get to this. Okay. Let's make a little bit of wicker work. Make a snap trap. I think I was too- wasn't close enough. Oh wait, here they come, here they come. Jeez. Frog slime? Uh, yeah, I've got everything. Um. Wow. The snap traps are terrible. Sorry about your rare bird. Don't worry about it. Okay, into the decay. Onwards. Onwards and upwards. Oh, okay, you goat. Awaits an offering. Yes. Alright. Let's get the shiny stones. Okay. We're going, we're going. Got the dog hair. And... No. Blue feather. The emerald flames with braziers place strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madam. Into the shrine. Okay, there we go. First things first, remember your contract with the goat. Alright, I think that that's a decent enough place to stop for now. Um, gotta go and uh, take care of the doggy. And, yeah, I think I'll play a little bit more of this as well, and uh, we'll just kind of make this into some weekly uploads. Um, they might not always be as short as half an hour. I'll look up and see about how long the game typically takes to play, uh, and just kind of divide it out so it's fairly reasonable, but I think we can turn this into a bit of a series. So, until next time, and uh, you guys have a great one.